Hello and welcome to Photoshop is Fun with Kenneth Lobenberg. Today we're going to be going over how to do photo stitching or the photo merge tool. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so right here we have a an image that I already did. We're going to come back to this in just a minute, but first let's find out how I made it. So using the photo merge tool or photo stitching, the reason you might want to use these tools is you have an area that's too large to fit photograph with just one photo or you want a higher res photo of something. Subsequently, you may also want to use this if you're scanning an image in and you're trying to get really high res scans of smaller sections to stitch it together to make one large section. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over here to the file, automate, photo merge. Now you're gonna see a lot of things on the screen right here. You're gonna see layout in the side and then your file sources in the center. Well, first let's go ahead and look at layout. All these do essentially what the pictures of them say. I find that the best is just to go with auto because then it can actually do all of these at once instead of just doing one or two. And I find you get a better stitch together that way. Right here at the bottom, we have blend images together, which is always click by default. You should probably keep that on. Remove vignetting, which is kind of like how some of the older photos have kind of like dark areas around the edges and that'll remove that. Geometric distortion correction, which I'll go over later how that fixes and content to wear fill of transparent areas. I don't usually keep any of these on because I really slow down my computer and I personally find I do a better job fixing these myself, but this is really something that's up to you. Uh, you can either browse for your files or you can open existing files. So let's say you've already opened a bunch of these files and fixed some stuff in them. You can do it that way. You can also pick folders if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and browse and I'm gonna select these images that I already shot. Now, these images are of a cow skull that I gave my wife for Mother's Day. I know that sounds grim, but it's what she wanted for decorating. So if, as you look to these photos, one of the things you're really going to notice is the fact that there are areas that overlap. So if you look right here, here between the area that the eyes are and the top of that skull, a good chunk of that is repeated in this image. And the reason we do that is it allows Photoshop to kind of match up those pixels and those image areas to understand how these things go together. If it doesn't have that, it just can't figure it out. It just isn't enough information. So let's go ahead and select all three. And that's Command A on the Mac. And let's go ahead and hit Open. And hit OK. Now this may take a while. The more photos you add, the longer it's going to take. So just be aware of that. Especially if you have a slower, older machine, this may take a long time. And I suggest doing it in smaller batches of photos and then taking those photo merges and merging them again into one larger merge. So right now it's blending layer sections and composing. All right, so you can see here we have a little bit of area in right here that doesn't quite look like it got everything. There's some extra pixels on top and bottom, but overall this merge looks pretty good. Now, if you go back over to this one that I shot earlier, this is actually my backyard, and I used about 34 photos for this one. Now, it didn't always look this nice. Um, if I come over here and I look at my snapshot one, you can see that when it came in, it had this horrible curve, and that was due to the fact that I stood in one spot while shooting this. And that's the kind of thing that that geometric uh, distortion will fix. I personally like to fix it myself. We're not going to go over that in this video, but I just thought I'd put that out there. So if you have any questions or comments, please put that below, and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. And please like and share this video with anybody you think it will help. Thank you so much, and have a good day. Bye-bye.